What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Tyler. And Mike. And this CIF softball video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. We take you to Wrigley Field. Uh, just kidding. We're actually at Big League Dreams in Chino Hills at Faux Wrigley Field for Lakewood taking on Chino Hills in the CIF softball quarterfinals. There's actually a Faux Harry Carey, if you look closely enough. Andy Miramontes and his Lakewood Lancers seeking their third trip to the semifinals in four years. They've been living on a tight wire with a bunch of one-run wins and they're going up against a great team. Champions of the Sierra League, Chino Hills defending Division Three champions. They've got junior Arizona commit Trish Parks in the circle. She's pretty good, and she left the Lakewood offense in park with two Ks looking in that first inning game on. Senior Janelle Hayes, she's coming off an eight-inning shutout of Bonita in the second round of the playoffs, so you know she's ready to go. Parks leading this one off, sends that one to right, but Ari Burns makes the play. The outfield has been phenomenal for the Lancers in these playoffs. The Huskies would end up putting two runners on base in the inning after the hit-by-pitch, so trying to ask questions of Hayes, but she responds, kills that noise with a K of her own looking. Chino Hills not alive with the sound of runs scored against Hayes today. That's a big-time strikeout right there, and the Lancers quickly back in the top of the second. After a leadoff single, Manning wears one again, and a walk to Madison Jones is going to load up the bases with one out. Lakewood pressing for that first run, but Parks, she's going to respond. She gets back-to-back -back strikeouts as these pitchers just wheeling and dealing. She actually K'd the side in that inning. And then Hayes says, anything you can do, I can also do that. She K's the side in the second as well, so you kind of knew that first run was going to be key. Actually, half of the outs in this game came via strikeout, so this was a true pitcher's duel. That run's key, and with Jessica Scroggins on first, gotta feel good. She led off with a single in the third, and with one out, flash, she gone, and she's going to take second with a cloud of dust. Really hard to throw her out. And Hayes ends up working a walk at the dish. That puts two on with one out as pinch runner Tyler Burke enters at first. Then with two outs, Montana Dixon, a huge two-out single, and Super Scrog scores quite easily. They're sending Burke from first, and yo, collision at the plate. Oh, and she gets up hot, Mike. From experience, I can tell you, Tyler's do not back down. We certainly don't. She came up like, you gonna get this Burke. And we were one and a half steps from seeing hands requested, or, Mike. Or, or gloves requested. I think there may have been gloves thrown. But, uh, yeah, that's an aggressive <laughs> tag to take the helmet off right there. And uh, Andy Miramontes said his team knew from that point on, hey, we're in a dogfight today. But it was one nothing Lakewood, even with the out recorded at the plate. And, hey, still fooling the Huskies. She K's the side again in the fourth. There was definitely a fire under the team and then a two out rally in the fifth Taylor Manning with the walk then this shot from Hayes to short that's going to go into the outfield taking advantage of a bit of a miscue there from the home team well we've got two pinch runners on and certainly adding some speed to the base pass works for Lakewood Kylie Lundberg up and a flare to left center uh, another clutch two out hit from Lakewood to score Edmiston. These are the hits they've been looking for these playoffs, and to get two of them against a pitcher like Parks is huge as they take the 2-0 lead. And it's worth dancing when you give Hayes run support. It's good. One on in the bottom of the fifth. Parks yanks this one. Thought she had a bomb to tie it, but Lindsey Carroll makes the play near the fence. She says, nah, there's two outs. As you see Park a little bit frustrated in the dugout. Thought she had that one to tie it up. But aside from the occasional deep flyout from Parks, Hayes was in control. 11 strikeouts, just four hits yielded, and only one batter walked. Big time performance from the senior. In the bottom of the seventh, still 2 0. Lancer Scroggins giving Hayes some encouragement before heading out to center field. But the first pitch of the inning was a single for Kylie Michael. So here come the Huskies as they put one on immediately there in the seventh inning. But Hayes, K's card for the first out. The Say Hayes kid in control again. Another K, this one of Rivero. That's a lowercase K right there. <laughs> that brings up Parks. And whatever hack is writing this script, it's a little too obvious to have the pitcher be the pitcher, the tying run at the plate in the big-time prospect Parks. And you've seen the swing she's put on the ball, but on a 1-1 pitch, grounder to second, Jones to Lundberg. That'll do it. The Lancers win it. 2-0, that's what we call a big margin of victory. Lakewood has been winning one-run games. They win it 2-0 against a good Chino Hills team. Jessica Scroggins has scored all three game-winning runs in the playoffs, and Hayes, so money. This is her second straight complete game shutout, and we love the semis! We love the semis! 
They will be playing Milliken. A more league team will play for a title. Will it be Lakewood? Only one way to find out. You got to catch that game Tuesday at Milliken. Can't get to the game, or if you want to relive all the drama, got to come back right here to GazetteSports.com. We are Long Beach Sports.